Hello YouTubers, this is the uh, computer that my baby girl and I put together, <laughs> oh man, yeah she wanted all these stickers in there, she's like, she loves stickers, and she put the stickers, so yeah they're kind of crooked, but it's okay though, it's okay, sorry I don't have a mic, and I need to speak loud, but uh, since I do these videos at night, mom's sleeping, and I feel like the bubble wrap, you know, boss, where still lives at home. And <laughs> he needs to be quiet, even though he borrows his dad's truck or mom minivan and whatnot. Yeah, that's uh, the movie, Dude, Where's My Car? But anyways, um... Yeah, she did. She did a good job, you know. She put this together along with Poppy. Yeah. She loves her daddy a lot, and daddy loves her a lot more, and that's the way it is. Let's get this guy here. Let's open it up for you guys to see what she did. The magic of <clears throat> my baby girl alongside her dad. Loving this guy up. <sighs> I don't want to have any music going on or nothing like that because I don't want no people coming after me saying, Oh, you stole my song. Maybe later on I'll make my own theme music. It's just gonna be a big bass thing going like that. Nothing fancy. Just just a drum kick. And so yeah, it has four screws. Uh yeah, in case you're wondering what the thermals are in this thing, yeah, they're terrible because of this. I wanted to get like a one with holes or little drills or whatever, but they don't have it to. Kind of like this side, you know, they would have done this here, that would have been awesome. But no, they have to ruin it for me. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Oh. So yeah, it has a little knock ball. Um, I put that in there with double sided adhesive, um, high temp, three and tape. And I did it over here because I was gonna put a hard drive in and I was just gonna stick it like that and Believe it or not, that would have been strong enough for that. But then I put the schooler here. Because I had like a, a micro little tiny cooler. It was smaller than this one. And it wasn't doing the job. So this guy, you can see that. Oh man, he doesn't have enough space you know, for the air circulation. He pulls air from the top. And since the stupid cover doesn't have any holes or grill which I'm gonna be doing that I'm gonna I'm just working on the design when I when I do it I'm gonna do another small review on it so you guys can see what I'm talking about that would uh that's gonna help a lot with the uh, ventilation I believe so and here I put a this is an Amsada one terabyte from Samsung yeah even on my baby's built I do not like to skimp on storage this is the highest uh, storage I could put in this one I believe underneath all that it's the it's the bore oh no 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 wait a minute what, what am I talking about that's another one uh, this is the 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 wireless 
you know, internet and Bluetooth. There it is. Um, yeah, the other one that has that has the uh, the M.2, I believe. Um, you can go 40, 42, 60, or something like that. And it goes f something 42 all the way to the end. There's a 42 and a 60. And then there's like another, like an 80 or something. That's how long they are. And this one, the, the other one takes that. I don't know if it's 40, 42, it's one of those. I will uh, make a review on that and then you'll you'll have more. See, I, I make my videos in a way where um, I don't know what I'm talking about. But as things progress, mics get better. On my end, meaning I, I will purchase better, better microphones. Because right now I have no microphones at all. Uh, cameras, camera angles, um, then I'll be able to go ahead and start editing the video, maybe put a, a rola in there, you know, like a song or something. This is not a very well cable management type of uh, little case. Uh, it does have RGB, just letting you guys know that there it is. You know, my baby girl opted for that and she wanted it. Now the button right here has like a dual LED, it lights up and then it flashes red, I think. And it kind of turns on blue. It does employ um, sodium memory, which is uh, laptop memory. And let me leave this just a connector where you can hook up a LCD display or something like that. I don't know. They built this motherboard for something other than something like this. There's the BIOS or CMOS, whatever, backup, you know, battery for the CMOS or the BIOS chip. Um, sorry for shaking, but it's just this phone is just getting hard to grab nowadays without stopping the video and there's some videos where my fingers tap and it stops it in the middle and I have to post them like that and chill. I just want people to know that you know mistakes are made I, <laughs> I want to include those mistakes as well so here's the front uh, you know the button and the LEDs that's all there is uh, and I think this one has a Core i5 uh, 4600K I think yeah I think that's what happened I uh, couldn't put anything bigger I wanted I wanted like to put like maybe a, a better you know CPU maybe like a a level up but um, even though I flashed the BIOS and it still didn't take it so I think that's why we went with this kind of I don't overclock it really you can't do it this thing will not be able to keep it you know cool the thing is really toasted just an idle but it never shuts down, you know. I mean, it still does its thing. Uh, you can watch HD videos in here. I wouldn't recommend 4K videos. Uh, although I have seen videos that would play in 4K. But I don't know if, if it's uh, an illusion. But to me, I know this is not like a um, home theater PC this is more like a 
let's browse the net and watch uh, you know some youtube videos here and there and maybe like the teletubbies or Dora or something like that and it's for my baby girl she likes uh, the performance I mean it's not a high end performing machine but I'm gonna tell you straight out this thing can can pull his own weight for what it what it, it has movies in there so you can watch movies uh, has all the stuff that my uh, in win shopping programming has it has a lot of graphical stuff so my baby girl she's more than happy because of that so yeah and also believe it or not the motherboard includes his own power um deal in here right right here you can like you really don't need to add power to this board you already like you know gets power from the brick through here through that 19 point something volts and i use a dell 130 water um brick i use that because i trust the company Dell, well, I used to trust back in the days, and I don't like just to buy any kind of brick from any other source. If I know they, you know, smear their logo Dell, they don't want to look bad and they're going to build a decent brick for their laptop. So I use a laptop Dell brick for this and I buy them on eBay, uh, you know, and then I just slap them in here and they're brand new and there's nothing, nothing wrong with them and yeah that's that's all this little guy needs <laughs> i mean you can get away with 90 watts and this thing will be cool but i like to put more power than what it needs and that way you know it'll never flicker never does anything weird so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna have it connect i'm gonna connect the brick see this thing right here oh my god sorry guys I gotta do this with my foot there you go oh so I told you guys it glows see look yeah what did they say huh? it's a line I think not so what I'm gonna do put it in there. There you go. And let's light it up. You can see that little green thingy right there is already saying, hey I'm ready. I don't know if he has any other lights anywhere else, but when you turn it on. Boom, there it is. See, it cycles through all the color. Just like I told you, that thing lights up blue. And the uh, hard drive, uh, it kind of goes red when it's hard drive activation, you know. For the activity of the hard drive, it's, it's red. Uh... I do have an upgrade version of this case and that one does have a you know grilled top and it looks like thermally it'll be pleased and it's a little bit higher version than this one and but my baby likes lights rgb and she's the one that told me i want you to put lights everywhere on your computer builds and so when you put them and post them on youtube people can see that you like lights just like me and i said really are you serious that's what you want me to do she said yeah and i'm like okay and this is the reason I put some RGBs even in this little guy. And this is what it looks like with the lid on. 
Let's see. Like that. Just like that. Let me turn off the TV. So at night, you can, you know, also this one has a remote control that will control the RGB lights. And you can like turn them off. Uh, you can like turn them down if it's, they're too bright. Or you can cycle the colors a little different. And she opted for this, you know, color chain ordeal and she wants it, she likes it like that. So that's her favorite color pick. So she's very happy with it though. And this one, USB 2.0, um, I just put the mouse and keyboard dongle in there. One of those Unify dongles. And it's there in front of it and communicates really well with the keyboard and mouse. And uh, you can put this on the TV because I got her a 46 inch one of those TCL TVs just for whatever. And this works really well for that. I had to borrow it from her. She said it was okay to borrow it for, for you guys to view. So yeah, thank my baby girl for that. Yeah. So let's call her Special K, yeah. Let's, let's call her that. Yeah, hardly, hardly anybody knows me. Yeah, that's why. They call me Mercy Watts. But yeah, this, uh, it's something I want you guys to, to enjoy this little build I did with my baby girl. And you can see the bottom kind of sort of glow. If I do like an acrylic, top with some holes and some designs this thing will be on 24 7 no problem on the net doing its thing and um, because of that extra power thing where I can put like a let me turn the lights on right here right there where I can put a, a a SATA, I can power a hard drive and put the hard drive in one of those guys for data and then you have an extra hard drive and uh, you, or you can put um, a hard drive right here on the back for this USB 3.0s you can also put a DVI monitor in there if you want so desire but she uses the HDMI all the time and you have everything I have no clue what that is I know some people know about it. I know it's a uh, eSATA. I, I, I'm, I know they're supposed to be electrified and also data. But I have not find some use for it. For some reason I thought I could just get me a wire, plug it into a hard drive, plug it in there and he will be all power and all that. And um, But I, I also found out that you can do the same thing with those guys. So maybe this is like an old version of this guys where back in the days maybe this USB 2.0 didn't have the power capability to power an entire hard drive. One of those little three two and a half hard drives, you know, the mobile mobile one. But this guys do and so that guy too, but I don't know. The eSATA, I know that connector. I think that this this board is a thin mini ITX board. That's what it is, thin. And it's an AC power one where, where you can plug in your 
wire in there and maybe bring out through this hole and put some power in there you know maybe like a 19 volt or 12 volt I don't know or, or even here but then he already has power going through there so really doesn't need that so you can power this board either through there or through here or you can put a connector in there and get more power and besides the SATA connector that he has in there and and you can power something else, I don't know, from the, from the board itself, because it does have a, a power supply or power management uh, circuitry built into it. So don't, don't ask me how it works, all I know that it works, okay? Is that a VRM? A voltage? Something? What does VRM stand for? V voltage management regulation or something or <laughs> regulator <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you guys know what it is anyways uh, I'm sure you can google VRM it'll tell you everything about it so that's why I don't give a, a lot of detail data on the stuff that I know anyone can just google now, if you guys didn't have google and stuff like that and then yeah I probably would do that be more uh, you know more informative i will get more informative. this is another usb 2.0 the header that you can put something in there and like a car reader or a, a, a tuner you know like i have a tuner on my in-wind shopping thing and uh, you can bring it out through here that hole right there and connect you just go like that to the thing and connect whatever the universe wants you to connect there and then you'll have a I put the little knobbies because she she shows these knobbies she wanted them she said daddy I want those to be small and cute like me and so I went okay baby girl and so she did so yeah she has 16 gig gigabyte of ram each module oh my god this thing has 32 <laughs> gigabytes of ram no way man she didn't skim skimp on the on the on the ram she wanted all that and then she wanted a terabyte of the, it says right there one terabyte see guys I'm not lying to you guys look at that she knows what she wants she wanted a one terabyte MSATA SSD and she got it <laughs> oh my goodness gracious she's spoiled she loves this little guy and i'm gonna build her another one maybe like a pink one or something like that and that's gonna be a gaming system uh she loves grand theft auto um yeah i know what you're saying why are you letting her play the game the game is for adults and teenagers but all she does is uh drive around and on a car and since daddy you know knows how to mod these things uh, she can get any car she wants mod it and uh, fix it do anything she wants she can uh, in command she can like conjure or summon any car she wants yeah including a Bugatti <laughs> Yeah, and McLaren and all that stuff, you know, she, she's into those cars, huh? I mean, I'm pretty sure when she grows up, she's going to have one, the real one. But yeah, there it is, guys. I, I hope you uh, enjoy this little view of my baby girl's mini, thin mini ITX uh, built. 
and with its own power and all you gotta do is like I said put any laptop power thing that you can find that will fit that guy in there as long as it has enough wattage I'm sure maybe if you put a 60 water or or something like that I'm, I'm sure it still will work because this thing doesn't consume that much energy so I'm just letting you guys know that uh, don't quote me on that because I haven't tested everything I do here is uh, you know I, I always put like a lot of power 130 watts is a lot of power just remember the N1 chopping has 150 watt of uh, power and this guy is getting 130 watts from that Dell brick right there and if you don't believe me oh man a lot of people don't believe me read on it read him and weep look at that see it's 19.5 volts that's what the point was and what does it say the wattage My, I can't even see nothing, but, uh, what the bleeding, trust me, it's 130 watts, that's what it is, so I'm sure you guys can point it out and freeze the video. And say, oh man, he didn't know where to point it for us. And, and and then you guys can do that yourselves. You see that after seeing all this, you guys can read it really well. But can you guys tell me is it is it 130 watts? Cause I opted for that. God, I can't hold this straight. Uh, can't stop shaking me arms hurt yeah so this is the Dell made from Dell I, I, I used to love Dell a lot when they were here in the United States so yeah so yeah, this I love this brick. Look at this; it's it's not even warm. It's cool to the touch. You know, it it does its thing. I mean, trust me, this thing can be on forever, and it's not going to disappoint. Especially with this little belt right here, it's really not going to. Uh, huh. It's not even gonna sweat but the little guy right here this little toasty but as toasty as in my garden in certain times I had yet to see this guy shut down because of thermal issues you know like saying oh I can't take this you know Siberian weather <laughs> I meant to say Sahara Desert <laughs> kind of you know Arizona Death Valley deserts we're talking about hella hot super hot but yeah I cannot believe those actually are 16 giger modules Oh man, this lady is this employing 30 gigs. Is it, uh, does that say 16 gigs? I mean, it's not the fastest RAM, but it's but it's there. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I thought I put 16. I don't know. I might have changed it. Well, she is my baby girl. She deserves the best. Here's the uh, motherboard. Uh, you guys want that data right there, and, and you want to get into it and see what it 
what it what he has for just pause the video and take a picture of that or write those numbers down uh, and that way you know what kind of firmware or bios or what not this thing is carrying so yeah let's see just god I'm recording lower resolution now I even did the box unboxing from from my chopping the one that really got messed up and and that video got caught up well I mean yeah it stopped prematurely and it was only a few seconds before that and then it kept recording into another file and I'm not gonna put the other file because it's so insignificant I mean, I'm just saying two of them will be good and then and that's it and I told you guys to you know like and subscribe and that's it so really you didn't miss nothing much so that little fan right there is I ordered it spe specially for uh, Luxa Luxa 2 from thermal thermal take i think it was, that's the company that make that thermal take this this is a stupid uh, that has the same cover like this but it's it's a long ass computer i put a bit on it so that i can show you guys i was going to uh, do a build on that one and, and then that one has an equalizer in the front and I think that's the Luxa 2 M100 or something 100. But yeah, it's, it has a weird kind of. But I didn't win it. I was helping somebody else and um, with a washer, and because of that, I lost a bit for two dollars and fifty cents. I almost died because I wanted to do something like that for you guys, but you know, maybe the gods were against me. Yeah. The YouTube gods. If I leave it open like this, it'll stay on. I mean, this thing is not even hot. It's not. The, the minute I put the cover, it takes about 10 15 minutes and it starts warming up. And it's like, oh, I can't take it anymore. So yeah, all right, enough rambling. So if you guys ever want to see a build like this, put in the comments. Hey, do a build like this, and we'll see if we can do it. Cause I'm gonna tell you guys straight out. Don't look at my mess. This is my toolbox. I'm gonna do an unboxing of this guy right here pretty soon. And this guy is uh, Asus, and it's a thin mini ITX uh, motherboard. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. And that one employs the same thing as that board right there, except it's newer. But these are the specs right here. Right there, that way I don't have to talk so much. Pause, freeze that, take a picture. Oh man, bloody hell. Did it do anything weird to me? Oh, there it is. This is, a, it's, this is an 1151 socket. Uh, yeah, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna do. We're gonna do this board next. We're gonna un unbox it together, and, and you guys can, you know, get a little bit of some of our RGB strips there. All right, and I did, I did, I did another build using this Intel Thin Mini ITX board as well. Um, some. Someone very lucky got this board uh, and 
they're employing it on their home theater ordeal so it came up pretty good because the person still has it on the TV and this is his go-to computer for everything it came up pretty good yeah I put a I think I put a Core i5 on that one too but yeah I got two of these boards right here you know, let me show you guys see there's the other one so yeah See, oh Jesus, I'm all over the place here. Don't pause it and try to get my info because then you guys know where I'm at and then you can track me and hit me in the head for being a naughty YouTuber and not being explaining myself properly with all this tech that I know you guys understand better than me. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, um, later on what I'm going to do for you guys, it's give you guys a review of my Oppo Blu-ray DVD, they fade them out, I don't know why, these guys are 4K, uh, 3D capability, the whole nine yard, and then I'm gonna do a camera as well. 4K, Ultra, HDRN. And this is gonna be my camera set, it, set up for outside for security. And I will also tell you guys about all my movies I have in this hard drive. I have like a whole bunch of movies in there. And I'll tell you guys, yeah, this thing is still good. And about the TV, how thin it is. <laughs> this thing is like hella thin. And, but it does have 20 watts for, for speaker. There's my medicine over there, don't. And that's my other camera. And that's my router over there, and my modem. And this is my in when chopping, chopping along. So yeah, I'll do reviews about all this stuff. And then you guys can, this is my Vornado. This thing is like hella loud. But look at that, it's, it's just, oh. and my Kirby. Also, really, I, I love this curving because you know that it's so easy to use. You can suck on this thing. You know, to the top, it goes right direct to the back. So, someone special gave me this. It's like about Coca Cola, and someone special also gave me those. <laughs> Look at all the RGBs that I took out of previous builds. And this is my baby girl. She did that for me. And this is my line. And that's her watch right there. Man, she has a nice watch. This is solar, atomic, has a compass, altitude, all that stuff, you know. 